All right, let's take a second to read this problem. Shannon grossed $435 one week in one week by working 52 hours. Her employer pays time and a half for all hours worked in excess of 40 hours. So that means that he's going to pay like her normal hourly wage and then like plus half of it. That's like a normal thing that happens for overtime or for like holidays if you work then. So with this information, can you determine Sh Shannon's hourly wage? Okay. So let's try to do that. So let's set up our variables first. So let's do X is her hourly wage. And then let's try to set up an equation or two. So let's see. So if you take her hourly wage and what she only, she gets paid her hourly wage for 40 hours. So we'll do 40 times her hourly wage, but then there's 12 hours because she worked a total of 52. So that's 12 hours of overtime. So for 12 of those hours, she's getting paid time and a half. So 1.5 times her hourly wage. We don't really need those parentheses there. But yeah, that makes sense. And then we do that out and that comes out to 435. Okay. So just to kind of label, those are her normal hours and this is her overtime here. But yeah, now just in one equation, we can solve that for x. So let's do that. We got 40x. We're going to distribute so 12 times 1.5, well, it's 12 times 1, and then 12 times 0.5. So that's 18x equals 435. Okay, so 58x equals 435. And this is definitely a calculator problem, so we're going to swipe in the calculator and go 435 divided by 58 for an hourly wage wage of 7.5 750 an hour tough not even minimum wage that's how it is sometimes though